I need your help. If you are a Linux user right now and you're enjoying it, if you want Linux to succeed, we need more people. We need more users. And that's why uh, you know, the Linux organizations created the end of 10, which as you can see here is support for Windows 10 ends on October 14th, 2025. Microsoft wants you to buy a new computer, but what if you can make your current one fast and secure again? As you can see here, fresh new software, your old computer. If you bought your computer after 2010, there's most likely no reason to throw it out. By just installing an up-to-date Linux operating system, you can keep using it for years to Come. Installing an operating system may sound difficult, but if you don't have to do it alone, with any luck, there are people in your area ready to help. And as you can see, we can find someone to help you. So if you are a Windows user that's clicked on this video, I would highly recommend going to this website and clicking on find someone to help you as there's different uh, websites and cafes that actually can help you out depending where you live. And if you are a repair collective, I would highly recommend signing up to this so we can help more people get Linux installed. And if you don't know what Linux is, it's pretty simple. Another operating system that allows you to have uh, really a lot of different experiences. But the main one for most users is the desktop experience. Um, you're able to just have a similar experience to the Windows or Mac OS experience with different desktop environments and different Linux distros, which may sound really confusing, but with the help of Ender 10, you can really figure out uh, what type of distro you need, which I've already made a more longer version, uh, which is linked down below about what type of distro can you choose depending on your hardware when transitioning over to Linux. But just to show a little bit, these are two popular desktop environments that people use. One is KDE Plasma. This is pretty similar to a Windows experience, maybe like Windows 7, I would say. Uh, and then we have GNOME, which is a more rather different experience to Windows. Uh, it looks kind of similar to Mac OS, but it is like the dock is like in the foreground uh, and uh, its applications look uh, a lot more cleaner, I would say. Uh, a lot more, you could say, modernized. And I guess the last thing I'll talk about is the five reasons they say to upgrade your old computer to Linux. Uh, no new hardware, no licensing costs. A new laptop costs a lot of money, which is true. Why would you need to go buy a new laptop if uh, the laptop is working perfectly fine? Uh, but several Linux operating systems are available for free. Software updates are also free forever. You can, of course, show your support with donations. Enhanced privacy. Uh, Windows comes with a lot of ads and spyware. This slows down your computer, less companies spy on you, and increases your energy bills. Uh, some of that is true, I would say, but the ads and spyware, I don't know about energy bills necessarily. I guess that's true, uh, but not really. Uh, good for the planet. Uh, production of a computer accounts for 75 plus uh, carbon emissions over its life cycle. Keeping a functioning device longer is a hugely effective way to reduce emissions. With a Linux operating system, you can use your device longer, which, yeah, I guess is true also. I guess you are helping uh, the emissions. Uh, community and professional support. There are local repair cafes and independent professional services and computer shops available providing your, you help. You can find support in online forums too, you know, like Reddit or this YouTube channel, or many other YouTube channels, uh, or my YouTube community posts as well. I do a lot of Linux posts there as well. Uh, better user control. Linux grants you the full freedoms of software. You're free to use, study, share, and improve the program for as long as you wish. You're in control of your device. And then just so uh, people can understand more, Linux is not just like, uh, you know, some community pet project anymore. Uh, there is tons of different supporters now when it comes to uh, Linux. There's literally so many different companies, as you can see here, some of the supporters for end of 10, but also when it comes to uh, the more uh, deeper ends of Linux, like the kernel, for example, there is, uh, you know, there's Google, there's Microsoft, they're all contributing and giving money uh, to Linux to keep it alive because they utilize it also when it comes to the server side of things. If you are a Linux user, I would highly recommend uh, either trying to get people to switch over and at least try it out, or if you don't have a family member or such you want to help out and it's someone online uh, and they don't really want help, you could just send them the endof10.org website so they can get an understanding of what uh, Microsoft is doing with Windows 10 Home, which in my opinion is really, really uh, stupid that Microsoft is doing this. Of course, they can't support Windows 10 forever. Uh, they want to support Windows 11, which a lot of people do not like. 
So that's the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy it, definitely give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you to my supporters. I'll show a text across the screen right now. Thank you me money every single day of month. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And of course, uh, remember to send this link around uh, or try and help someone move over to Linux. Peace.